prices so uh, big. of the monastery of St. Catherine lies outside the monastery walls to the northwest. It is fed by the spring that flows down the mountainside, but it owes its remarkable fertility to the untiring work of monks who brought soil from distant places and constructed tanks and wells to provide irrigation and to trap rainwater. They were formerly entered from the monastery by a dark passage immediately within the postern in the northwestern wall, which is now blocked. It is today accessible from the courtyard in front of the northwestern entrance to the monastery. The garden is surrounded by stately cypress trees and is laid out in terraces. Fruit trees of many varieties grow in profusion. They include oranges, both sweet and sour, lemons and pears, apricots and plums, as well as vines and olive trees. When they bloom in March and April, the garden is a magnificent sight. The olives are either pickled or pressed for oil, and some varieties of grape are dried into raisins, while others provide a rather rough but invigorating grape wine. There are also tomatoes and various vegetables which are carefully tended by the monks. Cattle and donkeys are kept within the walls of the garden and the monks also breed turkeys and chickens. In the center of the garden is a two-story chapel of Saint Trifon, the crypt of which serves as the ossuary or charnel house but also known by the name the Chamber of the Skulls. Digging graves in the rocky terrain, the bodies of the deceased monks of the order are first buried in a small burial ground and later disinterred and placed in the ossuary. It's a somewhat green place with hundreds of skulls in one cage and lynx and vertebrae in another. The bones of bishops and archbishops who either attained distinction or suffered martyrdom are placed in wooden boxes arranged neatly in niches. There is a fully dressed seated skeleton of Saint Stephanos wearing a skull cap of violet velvet. He was a monk who lived alone near Elijah's cave and died in 580. The bones of the more humble brethren are piled from floor to ceiling. 